Well, a mysterious truckload kept drivers from taking a rest along I-57. This large object you're about to see spent the day at the rest stop just north of the Pasodum ramp. State police blocked off the entrance and wouldn't let drivers pull in. Troopers wouldn't say what was behind the white wrapping. All we know is they were in charge of escorting the load, which was being carried by Diamond Heavy Haul Incorporated, a company that carries large pieces of equipment. Many people called us today saying it looked like a flying saucer or top secret military plane was parked near the highway. We were flooded with calls and comments on our Facebook page about a mysterious truckload over the weekend. It was parked at the rest stop near Pasodum on I-57. Some people, including my children, thought it was a <laughs> flying saucer. WCI3 Sophia Beausoleil is here to fill us in. Okay, so we officially know we're not in some Roswell situation. <laughs> right, all of, our, <laughs> all of our minds are just going crazy. I was curious too, I was out there with my phone, but today we find out what it was, a tailless unmanned drone. Now, Saturday, hundreds of people saw the parked aircraft on the side of I-57. The X-47B is part of the Navy's project to have tailless unmanned aircrafts that take off and land from aircraft carriers out on sea. Now, why did it look like that? The contractor removed the wings, and they stayed pretty tight-lipped because they wanted to drive the remote-controlled aircraft at night to, of course, avoid traffic and to keep it safe. Now, the one people saw here in central Illinois was on its way to Maryland. It had just left Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California. It'll undergo flight testing on carriers. Now, the contractor, Northrop Grumman, has only made two of its kind. And what makes them so special? They're fast and hard to detect. So we kind of got a cool sneak peek at something you don't see on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, they tested those two aircrafts last year, and in the next few years, they're gonna do all these other new tests. Pretty neat that we got to get those pictures. Yeah, and there's only two, so now you know why they want to be really safe with it. And it looked like Nobody it was wrapped, it into it. wrapped in a bunch of saran wrap. Yeah, we were just trying wrap. to guess how they did it. <laughs> Bubble wrap, maybe they had a balloon, sucked it in, let it go, who knows. Yeah. We Some couldn't get that close to thing. it to touch. Yeah, no. exactly. All right, thank Thanks, you, Sophia, Sophia, for filling us in.